Today's video, I'm going to show you how to bomb cover three out of the bunch tight end formation in Madden 24. Really simple concept today, and it's going to, I think, just open your eyes to some of the things that you can do to manipulate the cover three coverage. Cover three is the most called defense in Madden 24 uh, because it's got the best ways to stop corner routes, honestly. Cover three does a really good job. Cover four does a good job against cover uh, corner routes as well. But in this video, as I said, we're going to be taking a look at how can you manipulate and bomb cover three over the top. So what we're going to do is we're in the bunch tight end. Now, this is in the Jets playbook. Now, one of the really cool things with this is the bunch in the Jets playbook, if you come out in gun bunch or bunch strong, the receivers are to the right. So the formation strength is to the right. If you audible to bunch tight end, it's basically flipping your bunch and your bunch now becomes to the left side. So one of the things that I like to do is I'll come out in corner strike, for example, out of bunch strong, and I'll audible into the play that I want to run out of bunch tight end. So in this example, we're going to be taking a look at PA bit over today. And really, you don't even have to set audibles for this. This, this is pretty much set up in Jets. If you guys want to get my entire Jets offensive ebook, I think it's the best ebook that I've done all year. The link is in the description to join the Patreon. Patreon members get access to everything. So if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, I think that it's the best place to do it. We upload stuff all the time over there, and we're always updating our ebooks, trying to give you the most up to date strategies uh, to be able to be as good as possible at this game. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come out in this just to, just for the sake of uh, illustration. So as you see right here, I am short side bunch. Now, there's a lot of things I can do with short side bunch strong. I can, you know, run, you know, kind of a basic combo, you know, like this, for example. And uh, we can just start manipulating coverage here to the right side if I wanted to do that. And then what I can do is situationally, then I just really like almost instantly audible over to PA, but over. Now, all we're going to do with this for this bomb play is we just need to not have a vertical route on the right side of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to like your standard cover three, and we're just not going to have a vertical route on the, on the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to streak our slot receiver. We're going to smart route our post. And then the two other receivers on this play, you can just drag them if you want to. You could do a flat route and a drag. You could put the running back on a route and do a little something like this whatever you want to do. But what you're going to notice is as long as you don't have a vertical route on that right, that third will sit and it will allow this deep post to basically get over the top of that outside third defender. So one of the other methods that you could do if you wanted to, if you wanted to kind of, you know, use a tight end apprentice is you could also put the tight end on a corner route and then basically, you know, do something like this. And what the corner route's going to do is it's going to kind of pull that third even more. And as you see, this is going to get over the top of the cover three pretty consistently. All right. So there's a lot of things that you can do to make this route work, to make this play work, to make this, this concept work. Let me give you one other uh, setup out of a, for a cover three bomb, for example, Then I want to talk about what they can actually do to stop this. One of my other favorite things uh, in terms of like setting up a cover three bomb is to take this tight end and just, you know, essentially just, just basically quick hike it. And as you see, because it doesn't have any vertical routes running to the right at all. So with conductor, you can make two hot routes as soon as you audible. So what I would do is if I'm anticipating that they might be in a cover three coverage, for example, I'll come out in this because they're going to have to you know, set something up. But I'm going to instantly audible over to PA boot over. I'm going to smart route and then I'm going to basically streak this guy. You want to wait for him to get over there. And we're just going to quick hike this. We're going to snap it as fast as possible. We have a little check done underneath there. But what this is going to do is it's going to catch him off guard. A lot of times you're going to throw a lot of touchdowns just by that little tactic alone. Okay. Now let me show you what their main counter to this, this uh, bomb is really probably going to be. The main way that they're going to counter this bomb is they are going to deep half this guy on the right side of the screen. So if they do that, one of the little simple things that we can do, and I'll just show you what this would look like first. If we run our cover three bomb, you see that the deep half, see how he's going to kind of run himself into coverage, right? So what, what can we do? What can we do around that? What can we do to counter that? How can we, you know, what, what, what are our options, right? What we have uh, the option as an offensive player is we can go ahead and just take this tight end. And with this corner route, what you'll see here is basically create a high low between the drag and the tight end. And so that deep path will run to the post and it will leave this wide open. Another thing that I find is when you use a tight end corner specifically, oftentimes, and that deep path is coming specifically from the outside corner. A lot of times what can happen 
is this corner route can pull the deep half just enough that then you might be able to throw that that deep bomb. But if not, again, you just have this corner route over here to the right side, really simple, really effective, and just manipulates this 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 play a lot, right? So this is a very simple way to use PA bit over. One last coverage that I did want to cover just briefly here is a traditional cover four zone coverage. So if they are doing something like that, the main thing you have to worry about is the right side guy on the inside quarter. So what I like to do to kind of manipulate that coverage in particular is, you know, something, again, I like to keep these guys underneath if I can. So kind of keeping these guys underneath here. And what you see is you can ag back to the ball because that inside quarter gets carried significantly down the field. Now, PA boot over is a little unique in that it has the one thing that's kind of interesting about PA boot over is you have the post coming from a like very compressed set. So if you do this, like let's just keep these guys underneath, right? We just don't run them on a vertical route. We just run them on drags. Watch what happens uh, late on this play. So if I have time, I can freeform this all the way to the right and it, I, can, I have a chance to possession catch that. The unfortunate reality in, in this game right now is everybody has KO abilities. If they don't have KO abilities, it's a lot more open than if they do. Uh, everybody has these deep, not, not just deep end zone KO, but they have deep zone KO. That is the main reason why it's hard to throw this bomb. Um, another thing you can do is you can put the tight end on a post if you're specifically playing this cover four. And what will happen is it'll pull that safety's hips inside and then you can rack catch that over the top of the quarter on the right side. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get my entire Jets offensive ebook, link is going to be down in the description below. It's just $10 will get you access to everything that I have out of Jets, as well as all of my ebooks in general. I think it's the best way to get better at the game. Thanks for watching, and to sign up for that, head down to the description and click the link down below.